we're looking at the CNC machine and what I'm trying to do is put a rotary table as close to here as I can get it and the problem is the motor that it came with is real long so the the lowest that I could put it would be here which is sort of a waste so I could block up the whole machine but I really don't want to do that so I'm gonna put a smaller motor on the bottom so that it fits and has clearance on the bottom so there's a couple problems um, just looking at the inside of this what it is is a belt drive with a little sprocket here that essentially goes in and engages um, on the motor shaft so what I was going to try and do uh, is switch out motors to this one which should have the same shaft diameter and length since they're NEMA mounts and I don't need the tail shaft because this isn't a self-locking drive because it's only six to one you can grab this and turn and the motor will spin even with this big motor um, so this is the only one where we don't need the uh, tail shaft so we'll and then on our um, our other sort of if this is here and then we're gonna mount this here and you know we had this we made this bracket that essentially bolts onto here and then this has our uh, 5c index where that interfaces to there um, so this one is a worm drive right and this just goes in there and then threads and then the genius designers put a threaded or a set screw right into the thread on here so that you could set the angle if you wanted or just smash it tight that's why when you see these they're always at some stupid angle rather than being perpendicular like this they're kind of like off at some angle because they never face the threads here with this uh, and you could probably shim it but you know I'm not doing that I'm just gonna um, thread it on and maybe throw some thread locker in there but the way that this engages on the motor is with this uh, roll pin drilled through the shaft and then that just engages this slot in the shaft there so it's just a it's kind of like a light light press fit on there but um, so what we need to do if we're going to use this motor with the tail shaft on here and again we don't need this big of a motor since it's like 30 to 1 gearing or 60 to 1 or something like that but what we do have to do is drill this cross pin through our shaft to get this to mount um, on that but just wanted to show that and I'm gonna go in the shop and match these shafts here so I'm gonna take the dimensions of this roll pin and put in this motor here. 